Let's follow these instructions and access the VDI. Sometimes if you see it done once, it helps. I'm going to a new tab up at the top, and I'm going to actually type the address. There are ways to access it from the college web page, but what's going to happen the next time they change the website? So I just type it. And on this page down here, I will choose the HTML client, and now I'll log in. You log in with your information just as if you were logging into anything else at Mott. There are several options. The one you want is the academic lab base, and it takes some time to open this. That depends on your particular device and your actual connection speed. It will take a second. I'm going to pause this while I wait for mine. Now I'm up. It looks like a desktop as if you were sitting at the college. And it has several icons on the desktop. And the really tricky thing to notice, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, oh, that's interesting. OK. Is it down here in the corner? I'll have to do this in post-edit production. Down here, I have now two start buttons. And it's really easy to get them confused. But what I want is not the one for my original device, but the one that goes for the VDI, my virtual desktop. There are two browsers here that you can open. Either one is fine. And notice that these are set so they are not maximized. And the reason why is because if you maximize this one too, oh my goodness, now I have my original device that I'm starting with, and then I have the maximized version of the browser that's in my VDI window. <sighs> Too confusing. So I'll just leave it at that smaller size. And when I want to open a software program, I'll go down to the, not the start button on my device, but the start button that's in the VDI, and I can search for File Explorer or whatever software program that I want. And if you're using this only for access, it's up here. But the others are all there. Some students use this for the entire class, and some only use it for access. So you can open whatever you need from there. If you need to get to the File Explorer window, I don't think they put one on the desktop yet. No, they didn't. So I will go down to the Start button, and I'll just type, start typing File. Explorer. I just started typing. I didn't search. I just started typing. And File Explorer, if I was going to use this, you know, I might click that arrow and then I could pin it to the desktop, for example, for the next time I log in. Or I could just open it once. And now it has another window in front. And again, I don't recommend that you maximize it because you're going to confuse yourself with which set of icons you should be looking at. When you want to log off, then go ahead and do your work. Uh, remember, when you try to access your H drive, let me tell you that, you'll have to first expand the outline on this PC, and then you can go down and find your H drive. Even if I don't make that window wider, that pane. I could make it wider, but even if I don't, when I hover over my H drive, it will all show up. So then when I want to log off, then again, not to the device, but the one on the VDI, and I'll right click, and then I can sign out. So I hope that helps you get started on the VDI. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's okay. You can do it, and you close your window when you're done.